can you please promise me it's going to be all right? Is it going to be all right? I go, no, is it going to be all right? Just everyone, please promise me it's going to be all right. This review is going to be all right. Everything, just promise me it's going to be all right. <laughs> Hi here, friends here. I am back for one of my independent reviews, giving my verdicts for all 37 entries for this year's Eurovision 2023 that will take place in Liverpool. And next up, I'm talking about Australia. Good day, down under. It's Australia's time to shine. And this year, they're giving us a band called Voyager. And their song is called Promise. Yes. What can I promise from this review? Well, I promise you it's gonna be all right, don't worry. Because I like the song, I generally do. And it takes a lot for me to like a rock song. But I like this because it's got this kind of retro 80s vibe in it with some of the instrumental, you know, keyboard kind of music thingamajigs that they're bringing in from Australia and yes and it's it's got this kind of good pop sound in it you know that you would hear on the radio promise me it's gonna be all right doo -doo, doo -doo. and you think it's gonna continue like that and then out of nowhere it goes into kind of a heavy metal part <laughs> out of nowhere like then we go you know after the heavenly opens of angels then we go all evil <laughs> with the devils and go rocking out but you know sometimes it's good to be a little bit evil from time to time <laughs> i am evil homer i am evil homer i am evil homer i am evil homer but I, I, I enjoy it. It's not a perfect rock song, nor is it a perfect song. But yeah, again, at Eurovision, who is, you know? You know, I, I think the band's quite cool. I think they're a cool bunch of people to hang out with, I think. I've seen them in interviews and they seem a really fun bunch of people. I mean, that Lee Singer's hair, I mean, hello. I mean, him whipping it around, oh you know and they seem great fun as well they seem great people seem like great laugh you know they want to do this for australia and they're in the good spirits i think they're in a good like place to do eurovision i feel like they're you know that they want to do this you know what i mean like they're one of those acts that really want to represent australia and have a good time doing it and yeah doing all these pre-parties you know coming from australia you know i mean manage how they manage to go through all these countries coming from Australia that's down under <laughs> I, I would never be able to like live that lifestyle but yeah and I give it to them you know still doing all these pre-parties you know you know far away from Australia and to, to do everything because it's just wonderful um as I said before it's not a perfect song I think some of the lyrics you know Promise me it's going to be all right. Promise me it's going to be all right. Promise me it's all going to be all right. It's a tad bit repetitive here from there, you know. Maybe they could have, like, I don't know, the chorus could have been written a bit better, slightly. But that being said, I think it does change it up a little bit as the song goes. It doesn't get boring as it goes on. There is something new that happens every, like, 30 seconds in the song, and I quite like it. It's also not too much it's it's just a nice uh, it's a nice spread it's, it's like a nice buffet it's a nice spread but it's not too much to handle when you're eating um i don't know what i'm going on about but it's a good mixture 
it's it's a good pace it's a good structure it's it's good and the music video is really well thought usually australia don't do kind of music videos i can't remember sheldon riley having one last year and um but this um type i i love it, it was set in australia well of course it's set in australia but you get to see um um, the, the the views of Australia with the mountains is a really nice music video for that and yes hopefully they bring something colourful very creative on stage as well Australia will compete in the second half of the second semi-final <coughs> they will compete and they are going to close the semi-final they perform in the number 16 spot which is the last spot of semi-final 2 they will close the show and just before that was will be Albania and Lithuania before Australia will close the show. And I predicted they would. And I think they will. Uh, of course they, they are. And I think it's a good closer. I really do. Because you know Australia will have something good up their sleeves and staging. You know, they, you know they've got the budget. They've got the money. And they're going to bring the semi-final to a close with a bang. Of course they would. I mean, if they get qualifying, get first half, maybe they will be a show opener. It's an option. I mean, maybe not the first choice of show opener, but they can sometimes do that. Um, producers sometimes do that. But yeah, I think this is going to qualify. I think, I feel more confident now, it's in the week semi-final. And yeah, I, I think Australia will get a place in the final. And all those people that say this is Australia's last year in the contest, I, I don't think this is going to be Australia's last year in the contest, because, look, I know the, the contract runs out at the end of this year, but look, let's keep it real. There's only 37 countries this year taking part. The EBU does not want to lose any more countries, you know. Australia will probably renew their contracts, or they will extend their contract for another couple of years or so until the numbers get, get up, or whenever they finally get a full EBU membership. I don't know how it works, really. I'm not on that kind of team, but um, Australia ain't going anywhere. They And also, they bring a lot of money to Eurovision, especially when Russia's out. You know, Australia will bring a lot of money to funds to small smaller countries, I think. So, yeah, Australia ain't going anywhere. This ain't the last entry, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's my theory, anyway. So... I'm glad I put that out there. Um, finally, a score out of 10. I'm giving this a 6.5. I think that's generous. I do like the song, but there is room for improvement, and some of the lyrics could have been a bit better, and maybe the chorus is a tad bit repetitive with just basically saying, promise me it's going to be all right, promise me it's going to be all right, promise me it's going to be all right, constantly. But that being said, I do like Respect Australia for taking a risk. This is an alternative entry for them. They're not playing it safe. And yeah, this is something different for the contest, and this is something different for Australia to take on. And I don't know where this will lead, land on the leaderboard. I mean, I'll probably say it'll probably come like Australia came last year, quite middling. I don't think this is the strongest rock entry this year, but I think this will do good enough to qualify and give Australia, you know, a good enough result. And I respect them for taking a risk. In any case, what do you think of the Australian entry for the Eurovision 2023? Comment down below in the comments section below, like and subscribe to this video. And I'll be back for more content very soon, so then goodbye, food, goodbye. But please, promise me it's gonna be alright, oh, oh, promise me it's gonna be alright. <laughs>